Hey, what's going on guys? It is Celeb. Me and Dara just got back from Pack South. The first ever Pack South. I am very tired. Uh, I didn't do much driving. Dara did a lot of the driving, but we did a lot of walking. We did a lot of interaction, and it was very fun. On today's video, uh, I will not be talking about Pack South. You can actually tune into the Second Opinion Podcast, which will be uploaded right here on our YouTube page, so make sure to check that out as well. I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the swag that we got. I'm also going to be doing uh, some special unboxings. Uh, first, Loot Crate. Now, while we were gone, obviously, Loot Crate came to my house. So, we're going to do an unboxing of the Loot Crate first, and then we have some special Loot Crates that were given to us at the Saints Row Gat Out of Hell launch party, which was hosted by Loot Crate. Big shout out to Matt, the co-creator. Shout out to Aaron as well. Good friend of mine that works for Loot Crate now. Uh, shout out to Will Powers and the entire Deep Silver team. Really sucks that Aubrey wasn't at this party. You make sure you're at the next one, lady. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get down into the unboxing. So <clears throat> first off, we have this fantastic really awesome Voltron t-shirt. Can you see that pretty well, Dara? A little lower. A little lower? Uh, too low. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's an awesome Voltron t-shirt, don't you think? Mm. Really, really nice. Let's fold that up. In the Caleb style of folding, quick and easy. <laughs> All right, next up, we have the Black Geek Tie. Now, I don't know if, how to, re oh, there we go. Black Geek Tie. Oh. That's a really cute one. Isn't it? Look at that. Can you see that pretty well? You can see the tie, but tell us what's on it. Um, it looks like Invaders. Space, Space Invaders. Really awesome tie. Very, very excited I got this. I saw a few people walking around with it at PAX South. Oh, okay, and we got that out of the way. Then we got the, the sunglasses, the Loot Crate sunglasses. Hey, what's up? Do I look cool, Darren? Mm, uh, I'm gonna go with no. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are really awesome sunglasses, though. Then, we have... Oh, I dropped it. I don't know where it went. Pen. We have a pen. The Rewind Loot Crate, 2015. Then we have a comic notebook. Now, this comic notebook is pretty awesome. It's for all those people out there that can draw pretty good. All you have to do is uh open it up there's oh dude that's amazing there's little blurb spots that you can use and then as you can see in the book itself there's little spots can you can you get that on there spots on there to where you can actually make your own comic book that's fantastic i think that's something i'm gonna get dara to work on Dara. The second opinion comic book? Se second opinion potato comic book. About the adventures of John Johnson, which is a potato. Now this is something that's really awesome. <laughs> this is um, a So Analog uh, Loot Crate exclusive. If you don't know what uh, So Analog is, um, they're actually little... <laughs> They're actually little Nintendo cartridges that come with hands and feet. And you stick the hands and feet in the character. If we can do that real quick. Put the foot in there. Then you put his arms on. Just like so. Is that a gun? He has a gun. There we go. And then we put the 
gun in his hand, or I could have put the gun in his hand beforehand. <laughs> that was terrible. It was. Just like so. And it says 1.21 gigawatts. Great Scott, and there's a rabbit. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Can you get that in there good? Um, you can see it. I don't know if it's going to be blurred or not. Can you see it on the screen? Does Kinda it look good. good on the screen? Yeah, bring it back low. Is that better? Sure. <laughs> Is it or not? Yes or no? Okay. Um, so, it's pretty cute though. It's pretty awesome. It's going to go along with a lot of different stuff. Isn't it, Dara? <laughs> All right. So then we got the uh, rewind book. You got a controller. Now this controller you can actually turn into a physical little controller with the box this year. Or this, yeah, I said that right this year. Because it's 2015 now, man. It was and, for this month. <laughs> this month. And then we got the creme de la creme, a Marvel Star Wars comic really awesome um, it's a number one edition loot crate exclusive that's really awesome man there's little loot crates drawn on there dude that is sick there's little loot crates drawn on this there's Han Solo and Chewie um, fantastic man the loot crate this month was really really awesome let me move this stuff over here as Dara changes the box into its final form. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I said, we did go to PAX. And it was awesome. It was very, very cool. Now at PAX, like I said, we went to the Loot Crate Deep Silver Party. I think she's almost got this box done. in. She doesn't have it done yet. <laughs> Anyways, went to the Loot Crate Deep Silver Party. It's really, really awesome. Really good, fun time. Um, and we were in the, uh, we got the amazing opportunity to get VIP invites to the party. So, Big shout out to Deep Silver. They're really, really awesome for doing that. That was amazing um, of Will and the entire crew. Uh, but we did get some gifts from Loot Crate. Um, since we were VIP, we got this month's Loot Crate and uh, a few other little gifts. I think Dara is done with the box. Here, just let me see it like that and I'll throw it in there. There we go. As you can see, the Loot Crate box, when it's done, it looks like a Nintendo, which is really awesome. And then you have the control that's in the book that you can do in there as well. So that's cool, isn't it? Dara likes the boxes mainly. She likes the fact that she can turn them into something else. So. Anyways, so we got this month's Loot Crate. Now this is something, this is a special version. Um, while we're at the party, Right when we walked in, we got this awesome Saints Row shirt. Was that pictured in correctly, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Saints Row shirt, which is awesome. Really, really cool. Then we got a few other things. Now, this is actually a little different. Um, a little different of a, of a loot crate. We got a few exclusive things. Um, this is a hex bug, uh, micro robotic creature, um, and it actually, I guess it works just as is, but this is a little bumblebee hex bug. Pretty cool. I don't know exactly what it does. Um, transform, a transformable nano moves by using vibration technology. So I think you actually, whenever you power it on or whatever, it actually moves by itself. It runs around like a little bug. It's got little legs on there, on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, <laughs> so then of course we got the glasses again. We got the black geek tie. We got the, uh, I don't want to show that part yet. We got the comic book. Or comic, somewhat comic book. Then we got a different version of the analog guy. This is Corbin's Alley, which is a kind of a poke at a classic Nintendo game. But it's, uh, it says Corbin's Alley, which it actually has one of the aliens from Fifth Element on it, which is pretty cool. So we got two of those now, which is awesome. Then we got the Star Wars comic. If I can get it out now, I can't get it out. It's in there. But then I was blown away that we got it, which I already have a copy of it. But uh, we got Saints Row. <laughs> we got Saints Row uh, for re-elected edition, Gat out of Hell edition as well. Really awesome. Whenever we got it, Dara had one as well, and it had an Xbox One version in it, which we gave the Xbox One version away. Um, but we are giving this copy away as well. We're going to be giving this away on our Twitter. Make sure to check us out at Second Opinion Pod. I'm sorry, SecondOpinionPod.com for details. Second Opinion Pro on Twitter. Um, but it was really awesome of them to give us this copy, which I already have a copy. So we're giving this away, man. Bam. Shout outs to those guys. Now we're gonna get down into um, we're gonna get down into what we got at the event. Now Nintendo was there at the event, so we got some Majora masks. Oh, these holes aren't poked out yet. Here, hang on. There we go. Do I look cool now, Dara? I think you look a lot better. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We got two of them. Choice masks. We get three. Okay, we got three of them. Then we got this really awesome Twitch bag, which ripped, which I was so mad about, but we're gonna sew it back. Twitch, and then there's the Twitch logo on the back. Then, the awesome crew over at Gearbox gave us some Homeworld swag. They gave us, for Dara, she got an awesome blue Homeworld hoodie. Does that get the logo in there? Mm -hmm. On the front, it just says Homeworld, so Homeworld hoodie. Then we got from, uh, oh man, from Shane, friend of ours, he gave us some. Uh, from Cookie Burger. Bur 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 Cookie Brigade. Yeah. Big shout out to them. He gave us a Metro PCS uh, wipe for your cell phone. And then he gave us some Super Smash 3DS and Wii U. Um, oh God, what are they called? Koozies. Koozies, good Lord. Koozies. Then we got some cool stuff as well. Um, we got some stuff from IndieBox. Um, you know, and a couple of little flyers. Okay, now this something cool. Big shout out to the people over at uh, Motiga um, for showing us uh, getting hands on on Gigantic. Um, but they gave us some Gigantic shirts. Awesome looking uh, shirt. <laughs> and then I don't know if you can see it very well but there's the Motiga logo on the back. Um, really awesome game. Make sure to check them out. Motiga Games. You can check them out on Twitter. That's actually their Twitter handle, Motiga Games. And then if you want to check out Gigantic, check them out on Twitter at Go Gigantic. Really <laughs> gigantic. I can't talk. Uh, really, really fun game. Uh, but that was Dara's shirt, and I think it's the same. I think it's the same shirt. But they're, they're, I think the shirts are a little different color than the ones that they had. The ones they were wearing were a lighter, yeah, aqua. Color. And then we got my Fat Man shirt. So it's the same exact design. Um, what else do we have? Okay, so we checked out. Oh, let me get these out of here. Um, Gray Box uh, had a really big presence at PAX South, and the two games they were showing off were Dreadnought and Gray Goo. Dreadnought is a space style game. Uh, it's like uh, space warfare. 
um, and you you fight with these gigantic like heavy dreadnought style ships. There's other ones like the way one of the lead designers or uh, program leads uh, kind of described it. Um, it was more or less like the Millennium Falcon. It was like the faster paced one, but the weapons were a lot lighter. Uh, I played with a heavy dreadnought ship, and I loved it. It was fantastic. I finally got the hang of playing. Uh, after playing what we played like three rounds or two rounds um, but anyways and we also checked out Grey Goo which to me reminded me a lot of um, of Alpha Centauri by Sid Meier's fantastic game uh, and big shout outs to them big shout outs to Michael who is the president and CEO he's actually gonna give us some steam keys so we can do some live streaming of the game and everything else but anyways we got these little um, you know badge holders uh, lanyards. And lanyards. I'm telling you, I'm off, man. Uh, lanyards. And what's cool about them... Let me see if I can turn them all on. Uh, I think one of them's dead. No, it's still got the pull strip on. Oh, does it? There we go. BAM! <laughs> Really awesome, and like we, we, we kept seeing everybody walking around the convention center with these on, and we're like, how the hell, how the hell did they get those? And uh, we finally went over there. We had our little press appointment, uh, but if you don't want them blinking, you can just have them to where they're just regularly kind of lit up. But uh, they're so cool, man, so cool. So big shout outs to them. Make sure to check it, check out SecondOpinionPod.com for some. Uh, some previews of the game and a review of the game as well. So I will definitely be doing a review of Grey Goo. It's a fantastic title. Um, shout out to Robert Workman too. Got me this State of Decay cap. I don't look very good in baseball caps, but uh, it's an awesome hat. It's got the State of Decay eagle right here on the front. Really, really cool. Big shout outs to him. Um, and uh, shout outs to Undead Labs too, because we got to check out um, State of Decay. And we also got to check out Moonrise, which is kind of like a Pokemon style battle game, but it's really, really fun. And Dara was like, she was over there with her mouth open the whole time, like, this is amazing. I rolled on myself a little bit. <laughs> um, another shout out to Gearbox as well. We got a Homeworld t shirt. I think we actually got two Homeworld t-shirts. Yeah, we did. Two Homeworld t-shirts. Hey guys, sorry, the video cut off, but uh, <laughs> we kind of ran out of space on the SD card. I had to take all the pictures off and whatever. And I also apologize about the focusing aspect. I think for now on, I'm gonna start doing my unboxings again with either my webcam or my GoPro, uh, which my GoPro and my webcam both do, both do autofocus. Um, uh, the, the Rebel uh, T3i or whatever that we have, it doesn't do autofocus while it's recording. So um, anyways, back to the unboxing. We checked out a really awesome game by a company called Shiny Box. Was it Shiny Box? Thunder Quest? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was Shiny Box. It's called Dungeon Quest. Can you see that in there, Will? Oh. There you go. Um, now, Dungeon Quest is available now on the uh, Android and I think iOS markets. Um, yeah, let me see that real quick. Oh, are you just going to put it in front of the screen? As you can see, what? Tilt it. Tilt it. Here, let's, let's do this. Is it still blurry? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh. yeah, it's blurry. There's nothing we can do about the blurriness. No. Okay, anyways, it's an awesome game. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we have it hooked up to the... Um, Moga? Moga Pro. Moga Power Pro. Oh, it's not... It's not playing. I think the mode would cut off. But anyways, it's an awesome game. Make sure to check it out. Um, if you like Diablo and different styles of games like that, you can definitely check it out. But uh, really cool shirt. 
Oh, that was the... Yeah. Alright, what else do we got? What else do we got? That's we got another a, dungeon quest. Another dungeon quest shirt. Then we got this. Now, this stuff came in the Twitch bags. Um, inside the Twitch bag, there was two free shirts. HP Omen. You see that well? Yeah. Now, I don't know what the hell HP Omen is. Uh, maybe I'm just getting old in the games industry. Um, but HP Omen. We got another t-shirt at the Nintendo booth. New 3DS XL. Tell them about this 3D XL. Now we tried it and it was fucking awesome. Uh, me and Dara uh, talked about it. I can't remember how long, but uh, I told her I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a new 3DS because like it, it, it actually, with the 3D in the system, with the processor and the face tracking, when you turn, there's no shutter in the screen. Uh, there's a little bit of a shutter because it's trying to track your face, but outside of that, it's fantastic. The color's a lot brighter. Movement is fantastic. C-Stick is completely upgraded. It's a really great system. Do you agree? I agree completely. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Um, then, we got a black Twitch shirt. Now, there's a lot of people that have the purple ones, but it's really nice to actually have a different colored one than the, the purple and the white. Glad they put the black ones in there this time. Um, what else? Man, I didn't know we had so much stuff. Oh, yeah, then we got Able Gamer t-shirts as well. Big shout-outs to them. Can you see that well? Oh, yeah. Able Gamers Foundation, Able Gamers Charity. Make sure to check them out at ablegamers.com. Um, and hopefully soon we're going to have Mark back on the podcast to talk about some stuff. Here's our, our second one, second Able Gamer shirt. Um, then we got some more stuff. We got a... Uh, What are these called, Dara? Uh, I think it says on the package. Does it? Yeah. Where did I throw the package? Right there. Where? Right there, the one with the dark color. Oh. Yowie? Let me see that. Yui? Rally wear. Rally wear. Yeah, it's for your hair. You can either do it inside. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you can put it on anything. You can wear it as You can do it like this. Like this. Or oh, however. you look so pretty. Or you can drop it back if you have longer hair. Have it at the front of your hair and drop it back. <laughs> Don't it look awesome, dear? Just lovely. Or you can just be a weirdo and wear it like this. Can you see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so gigantic. <laughs> uh, then we got some posters. Maze Runner, right? No. Uh, Star Mazer. Where did I get Maze Runner? Oh, know. that's the movie. We got some Star Mazer posters. We got two of those. Then we got a gigantic Motiga lanyard. Blue on one side, orange on the other. Orange on the other. Um, oh, we got some Twitch buttons and Twitch stickers. Huh? Right. Back to your face. There you go. <laughs> um, and we also have Dara's Loot Crate, which has all of her Loot Crate stuff in there, and a t-shirt. So we got three Loot Crates in one, which is crazy. I think we're giving away two Geek Ties. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give away two Geek Ties for sure. Then we got the awesome... Awesome, awesome, awesome Penny Arcade pins. Uh, now these, the ones that we got, are just from Moonrise and State of Decay. Now show them which one's Moonrise and which one's State of Decay. This is State of Decay. You probably cannot see it. Bring it back just a little bit. Um, twist it just a little, there's a glare on it. There we go. Now tell them what it is. Now actually it is a skull 
shotgun and an axe. And the green part on here is actually the State of Decay Eagle. And it actually took or the, hair or hair yeah and it actually took the state of decay team it took undead labs like up to the day of packs to figure out that that was the eagle on the symbol so and then we have the moonrise pin which is ember jaw the fire starter the one that everyone picked that thought was really cute they're all really cute they are they are all right what else do we have then we have poop the game stickers and we felt really bad that we actually didn't get to go back and buy this game and it's a card based game about uh everybody in the room poop pooping and then like you have to flush the toilet and then there's sometimes if you play certain cards if you while you're taking your turn if you don't make a fart noise then you lose a turn there's not like a website on the back of this yeah is there i no. don't know I was asking. Uh -huh. well maybe maybe you can find it on the internet just search poop the game. I'm sure you could. It's a card game. I don't think there's many games like that. Um, then we got two of these. We got uh, free cards for Hearthstone. We got some little uh, free card pack keys, which is cool. Oh, uh, here's another Majora's Mask. <laughs> ah! And here's something cool too from Star Mazer. Papercraft. Now, this is something Dara says that she's going to do. You can actually, I think, if you scan this QR code right here, don't know if you could scan it from the video or not, but you'll be able to go to their Kickstarter, which just recently started. So make sure to check them out. Star Mazer. StarMazer.com. What else do we have? Oh, we got the Devil Horns from the Saints Row launch party. I think these are the ones that I was wearing that are all like out of whack on my head. I don't think they're out of whack. I think your head's too big for them. That's probably what it is. You get stretched out to that point and you're like, what are we doing? And start warping. Yeah, Try so it was pretty cool. Everybody at the party had these on and they were all like, <laughs> Well, at first only a couple of people had them and then the servers there were just ha handing them out yeah. on a platter. Yeah. Then we got a ton of buttons. We got the, uh, oh, what was this game? I can't remember the uh, name, yeah. but you, you it was from shoot De bullets. It was from Devolver Digital. Uh, it's one of their newer titles that they're working on. Um, but, like, the enemies are bullets, which is crazy. Uh, then we got Pro Force. We got, what else did we get? We got another one. I can't remember the name of this title either. Another game that Devolver Digital was working on. We got Black Ice. Make sure to check them out as well. Black Ice, the game. I don't think anybody put any other information around them. We got Dungeon Quest. Which we've already showed you Dungeon Quest. While you sit there and look at my bald spot. Maybe you should start wearing a fez. No. Somehow. Just to cover up the bald spot? No. I know you want me to do that, Dara, but... Of course, and we have me and Dara's media badges with the Able Gamer flags. And I got an exclusive pen that not that many people got. It's a Captain Redbeard pen. I think it's the best pen that was on the show floor. Make sure to check them out. Redbeard TV. Him and me actually did a little interview talking about uh, Pack South and what was so great about the show. Um, so it was cool, man. It was really cool to run into uh, run into Redbeard. Him and me eventually uh, coming up soon. We're going to be working on some uh, live streaming together. We're going to be doing some podcasting together. So, Picha, what else? Was that it? What do you mean? Was that it? There was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of stuff, right? It really was. Oh, and then we got Notch, a Notch pin, which I'm pretty sure you can't see that. But, uh, oh, that's that scary game. It was a really weird, scary game by Devolver Digital. And then we got the Saints Row 2 load-up. I'm wondering if this actually has Saints Row 2's game on it. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe. If, that, if that's <laughs> the case, then we have plenty of those to give out as well. Yeah. We got, like, what, two, three of them? Probably. To give out? Um, 
Yeah, it was little USBs that they were handing out to everybody. If I can get this back on, right? Anyways, guys, that was it. That was all of our stuff, which is a lot of stuff. Um, it was actually more than me and Dara thought we were actually taking home with us. Um, but anyways, make sure to check us out at secondopinionpod.com. I have to rush into the other room because i got a podcast I have to do in about 10 minutes. So thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at S0LEB. Follow Dara at Dara underscore potato. Phoenix Fire at Phoenix Fire 2912. And check us out. Secondpinionpod.com. Peace.